Anyway, <laughs> moving on, what have the Telegraph got on the front cover, Kerry? Um, where are we? The Telegraph is uh, Sunak saying, I will change the status quo, which um, I, I don't fully understand this because isn't he the status quo? I mean, the Tories <laughs> have been in power for 13 years. And I think even however you take the intention here, it, it's going to seem laughable to the opposition to say, uh, after 13 years of being in power, there's something wrong with power. And it's like, well, <laughs> that looks like you then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, so that, I think that's why the is idea. He, why is he thing. waiting until the next election to, be, <laughs> to change? I mean, he's the, he's the Prime Minister now. Yes. There's, in fact, there's a, there's a good chance this will be his only chance to make these changes. Yeah. Both, both sides agree with him. It's <laughs> 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 what's happening. And, and everything he's talking about with the, um, you know, the HS2 and so on, which he's mentioning in, the, in his speech, is, uh, is so up and down and no one really knows what's happening and one minute it's going to go to Old Oak Common which would have been lovely for them. Yeah, I think, really would have made I think this is the absolutely genius reframing. So he's saying, don't, Keir Starmer, he's the continuity tro-. It's like, you're, you are literally the continuity yeah. <laughs> So it, it's, this is, a, it's incredible. Not that his, his ideas are necessarily that bad in terms of uh, re, uh, redoing A-levels, changing <coughs> yeah. them, maybe making them a little bit broader. Um, I know a lot of people out there feel very strongly about smoking, Usually smokers, uh, but I personally There's not enough of it. <laughs> they want more. And, and um, what about this other story about uh, Boris Johnson's uh, COVID decisions? Yeah, this is this is actually huge and frustrating and annoying for anybody who was told repeatedly follow the science, follow the science. Well, when you follow the science, what you find out, and by, just to say the headline here, Johnson's COVID decisions were bipolar reveals Valance uh, diary. So, uh, so, so Patrick Valance, he was the chief science um, scientific advisor and basically kept these diaries. And they're kind of crazy when you're reading what was going on at the time. Because mm. he was basically saying they weren't reading these policy papers. People were changing the, the, the policy. Certainly things like he's, in the example here is this whole like one metre, two metre rule and stuff. And that became such a part of the paradigm. And then it turns out no one in the government actually read the thing. And then someone actually just changed it willy nilly. Yeah. So all this thing of follow the science, it was just a bunch of arbitrary decisions made by people who didn't even read the stuff. Right. Which yes. we could kind of tell. I mean, I don't think there are yeah. many people being like, yeah, this is all well thought out and they know, what, they know what they're doing. I think that's why so many people just didn't obey lockdown rules. Well, it was exactly that, wasn't it? The, uh, remember, two metres, six metres. <laughs> six, <laughs> six, two, six metres. Not really sure anymore. Um, it was all a rough idea, wasn't it? And with the parties going on and uh, so on, it was quite clear. But also, this is the guy who wrote a paper for Brexit and against Brexit at the same time, <laughs> side by side. To say he might be a bit bipolar is an underestimate, isn't it?